Since 2020, we've seen an uptick in people sitting at their desks conducting meetings in front of a webcam. Now, what you're seeing right now on your screen, though, is my usual setup for Google and Zoom meetings, as well as my typical live streaming setup. Now, what I'm using is a Sony mirrorless camera coupled with an HDMI video capture adapter, which is definitely on the higher end of the budget to best scale. Now, I'll go a little more in depth with my preferred streaming setup I use as a web camera alternative, but right now, we're taking a look at three webcams. The Logitech C920S HD Pro, the Razer Keo, and the Elgato Facecam. Now, what are their functions, the quality of each, and which is ultimately worth your investment? Well, I'm Akeem Lawanson, and I'll be breaking it all down in today's episode of Budget to Best. This is the Logitech C920S HD. Now, you may have noticed a slight shift in video quality as my producer, Red, will be switching between each of the cameras I have set up. I really want you to get a, a feel for how each looks while we break them down. Now, the C920S comes in at around $69, giving you a fully detailed HD video up to 1080p at 30 frames per second, HD auto light correction, and dual mics for clear audio. Now, for the sake of maintaining audio clarity throughout this video, we'll be using my lav mic, but we'll identify which of these webcams have a built-in microphone function. Now, from my personal experience, uh, the built-in mics on these webcams aren't the sharpest in sound, but good enough for those online meetings. Now, for streaming, however, you'll definitely want to invest in a more professional mic. And luckily for you, we got some recommendations. You can check out our best mics for streaming video we did a while back. Now, back to the C920S, you get a 78 degree field of view and an autofocus adjustment that allows you to maintain consistent definition throughout your video. As for customizing your camera picture, well, you'll have to download Logitech Capture, Logitech's content creation software where you can tweak and adjust the aspect ratio, resolution, white balance, autofocus, and many other features to optimize your video output. Now, to further give you an optimal picture, the C920S uses what's known as right light technology, a built-in HD light correction function that adjusts to your lighting conditions to give you a cleaner video profile even in dim settings. And when you're ready to pack it on up, you can just flip the privacy cover down for added privacy when not in use. This is the Razer Keo. Now coming in at $99, the Keo gives you an HD video image up to 1080p at 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second at 720p, a field of view of 81.6 degrees, advanced autofocus, a built-in mic, and a pretty cool, very useful built-in ring light that allows you to adjust the brightness to fit your setting. Now currently, I'm using my studio lights to maintain a consistent, similar picture profile as I jump from webcam to webcam, but you know what? I'll show you how the ring light built into the Keo could be pretty much all the light you need. And here's the Razer Keo with just the built-in ring light turned all the way up. Now you can see just how well it works keeping you, the subject, very well lit, even in dimly lit environments. It's a 5600 Kelvin color temperature, so not too warm and not too cold. And you can adjust it pretty simply with the ring bezel. Now, much like Logitech, Razer has software available for download that allows you to customize your settings and fully optimize your image quality. Now, you can do so via Razer Synapse, where you can toggle between auto and manual focus and adjust your picture profile. I'm talking brightness, contrast, saturation, and white balance. When it's not in use, it's it folds pretty easily for ultra portability. Now, if you find yourself, you know, traveling for work and, you know, you wish to maintain a decent quality for those video conferences without worrying about lighting in the space you're in, well, the Razer Keo is the ultimate all-in-one webcam. Coming in at around $169.99 is the Elgato Facecam. While the Facecam doesn't have a built-in microphone, it has all the bells and whistles someone in the streaming space might find appealing. Up to 1080p at both 30 and 60 frames per second, an 82 degree field of view, a fixed focus range to keep you in focus, and uncompressed video. Now, one of the things that the Facecam does that's unique and you don't see too often in other webcams is the offering of a manual exposure feature. But you'll definitely need to be in a properly lit environment to truly benefit from the control 
controls. Otherwise, you'll end up with either a picture profile that's too soft or too noisy. Now, to access the exposure controls, you'll have to download Elgato's Camera Hub, which gives you complete control over your image quality. Now, your standard image adjustment features are here, like contrast, saturation, sharpness, etc. You also have a digital zoom feature you can play around with. Now, a lot of you might have a hard time justifying dropping $169.99 for a webcam, but you know what? If you're kind of straddling the line between high-end webcams and using a higher-end camera coupled with an HDMI adapter, the Elgato Facecam is the more affordable option that allows you to fully tweak the settings via the camera hub to achieve a picture profile close enough to one of those high-end streaming camera options. Now, while it's a bit of an obvious omission not to have a built-in mic at this particular price point, the Facecam was built with streamers in mind who typically have a third-party mic they often use during their live streams. Now, in my opinion, the visual fidelity and other features make up for the lack of a mic. So that was the Logitech C920S HD Pro, the Razer Keo, and the Elgato Facecam. Now, as for me and my needs, as a streamer and broadcaster, I've opted for the webcam on steroids, the Sony A6100 with the Elgato Cam Link, which is pretty pricey combination, especially when you factor in the Sigma lens and the other accessories you'll need to achieve that optimal studio quality picture. Now, there's also less expensive camera capture devices on the market you can choose from, but always keep in mind, you get what you pay for, so you may be sacrificing performance and quality by opting for the cheaper option. You can also just turn your phone into a webcam using Elgato's app called Epoch Cam, which for streamers can turn your smartphone into a secondary portable webcam. Now, there's a wide variety of options out there for you to choose from, and hopefully this will help you make that decision. Be it for video conferencing or live streaming, all of these options are available, giving you varying quality across the board. Here's the Logitech C920S HD Pro, the Razer Keo, and the Elgato Facecam side by side by side. Let us know what you think. And if you already have one of these options, let me know in the comment section down below what your experience has been like so far. I'm really, really curious to know what your experience has been like. Or, you know, if you're using a different webcam setup, we'd love to hear it. As always, thanks for watching IGN's Budget to Best. I'm Akeem, and I'll see you next time.